Hey everybody, today in this lesson of Arabic, we're going to be learning how to hit on Arabic girls, if that's something that you would like to do. So I've got a few phrases written, and I made a blog post about this on my blog, the Arabic student at dot blogspot.com. And uh, so I wrote all these phrases out, it's like five phrases, and uh, I decided that it's probably best if I made a video telling you how to pronounce them, because without correct pronunciation, without hearing somebody say them, it's really hard to know exactly how to say them. So, first one. Enti b'takli bila melech. Enti b'takli bila melech. First word, enti, you. B'takli can be eaten bila, without melech, salt. You could be eaten without salt. And that sounds like a strange thing to say, you wouldn't say it in English to anyone, and it's it's basically like saying "inti lazizi," you're delicious. You can't you can't say you're delicious to a girl in English. You can, but it's not like proper, appropriate, you know, in most situations. But "inti takli it it is. It's like saying you are so sweet, you're so delicious. I don't even have to put salt on you in order to eat you. So that's that's the logic behind that phrase. Again, "inti takli Next phrase, and I have to squint because I don't have my glasses on. If I wear my glasses, there's a huge glare, like right here. You can see the entire my entire computer screen. Halu jismik shu ismik. Halu jismik shu ismik. First word, halu, it means nice or sweet. Jismik, your body, shu ismik. Your body is nice. Shu ismik. What is your name? And, it, and it's popular because it rhymes. Halu jismik shu ismik. Next one. Rah jiblik laban al asfur. Rah jiblik laban al asfur. I will bring you bird's milk. Rah me is like future tense. It signifies future tense. Jiblik will bring for you. I will bring you. Leban milk al asfur, leban al asfur, and that's an adafa. So leban al asfur, milk of the bird, literally. But you'd say bird's milk, and this means since bird's milk doesn't exist, you're basically saying, I will do anything for you. I'll get you whatever you want. I'll do the impossible for you. So something like that. Rahjib lek leban al asfur. Next one, tobrini, tobrini. This literally means bury me. And it's it's like saying, um, I love you to death or something. Bury me. Tobrini. And it's since it's like since it's Lebanese, in Lebanon you hear this all the time. When ma you will hear Tobrini. And um, it's with a cough, so Tokborini, Tokborini, Tokborini. Tokborini. Qabr is grave, is a grave, so it makes sense. Tobrini, yeah, tobrini. You can even call somebody this. Like if, say, your girlfriend or something, you'd say, yeah, tobrini. You can call them, yeah, tobrini. Oh, one who buries me. Next one. Shu hal jasad ya asad. Shu hal jasad ya asad. Another rhyming one. Shu, what? Shu means what? Hal jasad means this body. So basically, like what a body. Shu hal jasad is like what a body. Ya asad, you lion. O or O lion. It's calling a girl a lion in this case is like calling her a fox in English. Shu ha jasad ya asad. Next one. This one I learned in Jordan. I don't know if it's used like universally, but it is shu ha taje ya naje. Shu ha taje ya naje. Taje is like a swagger or a sway, like when a girl is walking, they would like wiggle, a wiggle or a swagger or a sway, something like that. Shu ha taje. Like what a wiggle, yeah, naje. Naje is a female sheep, so it's the same kind of deal as shuha jesed ya asad, shuha taje ya naje. The another one is shuha uh, shuha natta ya batta. It means like natta is a bouncing, shuha natta or like jumping. Shuha shuha natta ya batta and batta is a duck. So in Arabic they will call like a, a hot girl. A batta, ya batta, because a, a duck, if you look at a rubber ducky, it has like a big chest, 
big butt. So that's why they call him uh, Butta. Instead of like in English how you call a girl a chick, same kind of deal. They call him a duck. Butta. Next phrase. Actually, that's all of them. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And uh, inshallah, you'll be hitting on girls and having good results. And uh, thanks a lot for listening.